Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. Today, I want to build a supermarket or start building the supermarket, but I'm a little bit nervous and confused on how I wanted to go. Obviously, this space has been dedicated to the supermarket. But a supermarket needs to be very large, you know, I don't want one of these sort of small corner sort of uh, super express markets, I want a big sort of Walmart style one. We obviously want it in the same colour scheme as the garage that we've got next to it in the UK and I'm sure in the uh, States and other countries uh, by any supermarket there's usually a gas station or fuel station owned by the same company. So for us, it's like Tesco's supermarket and a Tesco's fuel station next to it. So this sort of uh, clay and orange design is going to be the color scheme for the actual supermarket itself. But then you've got size. This is the size of the supermarket. If you imagine that this was a perfect sort of rectangle, that's the size that I want for the building. But then where do the cars park? You need a car park on a multi-store, on a on a, a supermarket. I was going to say multi-story car park. There. I was going to say, I know we've got a multi-story car park there, but the supermarket itself needs its own car park. And the only way that we could do that is if we had the front of the supermarket here, we remove this road and we put the car park on this side where the uh, fuel station or garage currently is. I call it, we call it a garage in the UK. I know fuel station is probably the best word for it. A garage to most people is like a, a car fixing garage, a mechanics area is what most people know it as. So if we wanted to do that, that would mean that we would have to move the current fuel station to another location, obviously nearby because we wanted to blend in and both look like one. So I think, well, where could we move it? And the only thing I can think of is to here. Rotate it by 90 degrees and place it in there. But as you can see, this area is wider than that area. I think, however, if we remove this road, which wouldn't be too much of a problem, seeing as though there's a road right next to it, I think we could copy it or cut it, rotate it, and paste it in there. It's a little nerve-wracking to think about, but I think I think we might be able to. So let's just let's let's just try it, and we'll see what happens. We need to. I want to really try this first, and if it doesn't work, then we'll build the supermarket. And we just won't have a car park to it, unfortunately. So if we say from here to there, that includes the ground. Then, then if we stand on this corner, right here, and I copy it, twenty-four thousand blocks. I then. Rotate it by 90 degrees because it rotates clockwise. And then if I stand over here on this corner and paste. Obviously, we've got some item frame issues, but that's not too much for me. I can put the item frames back on. Uh, there'll be some road line issues as well, I'm sure. Yeah, all the... <laughs> All the arrows, because I've been rotated by um, 90 degrees, they were facing the wrong way. But that's okay. This isn't a problem. I can certainly fix that. I didn't really think of the length, so that was quite lucky. That I can just curve the corner around. As I said, yes, the wall is just barely uh, um, going to fit. We will be able to. It's like right up to the edge, isn't it? That's pretty close. But apart from that, I could certainly move the sign over a little bit, you know, make an entrance. You know, I'm going to do that. And then if I... Uh, do I cut? And then we remove the old one. Yeah, okay. Let me fix this up and I should be back then. Right, well, that took a lot longer than I thought. That was about 40 minutes of work. But we have now got a nice big space for our supermarket. I removed the road down the middle. I had to change all of the roads as well because they were going from crossroad junctions to T-road junctions. So I had to remove traffic lights and replace them with stop lights or stop signs. I had to change, like, the sidewalks and all of that, you know, to be able to cross in the right direction, take away all the lampposts, that was just for that part. And then this part took way longer than I thought. All of the lights had to be reversed, so I had to do all that. Uh, I've now got the entrance in over here, so you come in, you drive, you fill up, and then when you leave, you can either go around this way and uh, next to the car wash, or through the car wash, if you need a car wash, or you come down the front here, and then you turn left, and you come out the back. 
Wonderful. I think it looks really cool. There's still plenty enough room for vehicles to drive through the whole place. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, and I think it still sort of suits the location quite well. It fills up that spot. We've got rid of two roads that weren't really necessary uh, to the sort of logistics of the uh, of the road system here. So we haven't really lost anything. We've just gained a little bit of room. Hiccup. We just gained a little bit of room. That's all. Uh, so... For the supermarket itself, on to today's episode. I know we're not going to be able to build too much today um, because of what we've had to do at the start here. But we can at least sort of hopefully get a size blueprint down of what we want. Now, I got sent through this picture uh, through Facebook by a guy called Kieran who uh, had a really good suggestion of what the building could be used for. It is apparently the Rochester Institute of Technology. That's what it says on the side. Rochester Institute of Technology. Uh... And then he said it would look really good as a museum. And I thought, yeah, it would look really good as a museum. And then I was looking for ideas for a supermarket and I came back across this picture and I was like, ah, yep, that's what it's going to be. That's going to be this. That's going to work really well as a supermarket. A few little tiny subtle changes and it will be absolutely perfect. What's going on here? Boop. And it's going to be absolutely perfect. So, yeah, this is what we're going to use. Now, if you imagine the side of the building that we can view on this picture is technically the front but we're going to use it as the side, and the left side of the building we're going to use as the front. So we're, we're almost looking at this picture the wrong angle, but it, it'll, it'll work. It'll work out fine. So this is the side. This is going to be, we're going to use brick as the bottom half. We're then going to use white uh, stained clay and orange stained clay, which is the color of our uh, fuel station, in order to get the sort of right... Uh, color scheme to match in next door to it uh, depth of the building wise I'm not really counting it doesn't really matter if it's odd or even we'll be able to work it out fine um, window wise you know we can just fill gaps in and, and all that kind of stuff we do want a decent amount of room at the front here for a car park we might end up moving the multi-story we might not need to uh, but we want to have at least a few rows worth of car parking spots so let's say one two three four five six if we wanted a exterior wall at the end then we need to go by another one are we going to want a wall yeah i'm going to want a hedge i think so one two three four five six that's the space of one of one car parking spot and then we want five blocks in the middle to be able to drive down one two three four five six that would be the middle one two three four five six and then one two three four five there one two three four five six middle point one two three four five six and then if we leave five out the front here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll add a little bit more eight just for like a path and trolley bays and all of that. Maybe one more. Something like that. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five rows of car parking spots. We'll have little, um, you know, when you go to the supermarket, there's always little trolley canopy things that you have to park them in if you're a good person and don't just leave them to wander into someone else's car. Uh, as far as the name goes for the supermarket, I'm going to leave it open to you guys in the comments section. But I did think of two. One is too long and it was Cobblestone Walmart. Do you get it? Walmart and Cobblestone Wall. Cobblestone Walmart. But I think that would be too long to fit in. I thought it was a pretty clever play on words. And then I went through ideas like uh, pumpkin. I just liked pumpkin. It was orange pumpkins in minecraft um uh, and that was quite cool and then i just thought what about mine mart mine mart is pretty simple uh, it makes sense uh it's something that could just generally i think work so mine mart is where i'm at um but maybe you guys have a better idea on what you think would uh, would be a good name so i'm going to leave five blocks between each one we've got two blocks leave five blocks two blocks leave five blocks two blocks leave five two Two, three, four, five, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, one. Now, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, two, three, four, five, one, two. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, two, three, four, five. If I'd done it there, it would just fit so much nicer. I think I can. I think I can get away with it. Yeah, 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 because the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, no, that's good. So that's going to be the definite depth of our building here. And in the middle here, we're going to have these are just going to dip into the building 
slightly by one block. And then we're going to get um, clay, um, stained clay, cyan stained clay, to have like a, a design sort of thing. So clay... So it's not just all brick down the side. Like how on here we've sort of rose, uh, sunk it back a little bit on the industrial buildings there. It's be the same sort of thing on the supermarket. Three, four blocks high I think is a, is a pretty good number. And then the bricks then go up and over the top. Either by one or two blocks. We might have some sort of stair design in there or something like that. And then we grab some nice white slabs as a uh, contrast there. To go along there. So that's what's going to be down here. Can I speed this up at all? I want to try and get at least some part of it done today. Uh, I know we've got the depth and stuff. But I want to have a little bit of a structure to it. Paste. Oh, I didn't grab the back, did I? Duh. Uh, to there. Stand here. Uh, copy. Copy. Paste, perfect. Paste, paste, that one. So pretty simple side. Supermarkets, supermarkets aren't really, why is that? Oh yeah, uh, supermarkets aren't really the most impressive buildings to look at, are they? Uh, you know, we're trying to have something that looks a little bit cooler uh, with our one, but it, it's pretty tough to. We're going to go with a design like this and then go up. I'm trying to stick a little bit to the picture at the moment, you know, giving us some, some I hiccups, ideas, stairs or slabs would work fine here. Just have something in here. Oops. I think I want something like, no, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Just something in there I think looks pretty decent uh, and then have that. No, I want it sunk back. I want it like to really look like it's it's back in there. Maybe just one block thick instead of two. Yeah, okay. No, I like that. And then on the picture, it has glass above it. It looks like an ice hockey rink on the inside. But Institute of Technology is what it says on the side here. Um, I don't think that we want big windows up here on the side. Maybe on the front we can incorporate some windows, uh, but on a supermarket there really isn't many. You know, windows are only really found on the front, uh, usually in front of like the till section, at least the supermarkets that I know of. Um, so you can sort of see in there, but obviously windows take up wall space, and wall space is very, very important when you're trying to sell things. <laughs> it limits your, your options if, if uh, you've got a window on every single wall. So uh, I think we're going to leave the windows from the side. And then just have windows on the front, right? So they go in there. We have the other brick blocks behind it. Above here where the windows would be then, uh, I think I want to do a white carpet slat design with a block behind. Or maybe even maybe even white stained clay, which is one of the colors, with orange carpet, which is the other color. Though. I know it's orange carpet and not clay. It's still orange, though. So we have the brick... You know, it'd be really, it'd be really cool to make these bricks stand out a little bit more on the side, like literally dropping the center of these back by one, like there to there, cut, paste, and then put the bricks up here. I'm sure maybe these could be used for um, like garage, uh, you know, delivery areas and stuff like that. If we drop those back, it's just going to give us so much more flexibility on the rest of the build. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to drop all those back. I'll be back. Already that looks better. It might not seem like the biggest difference in the world, but believe me, not only is it going to make the building look much nicer when it's completed, uh, adding so much more depth, it just gives us a lot more flexibility in what we want to do higher up the building uh, and in all sorts of places. So now let's try this idea that we were going for. So let's put this white clay behind and um, let's do it uh, five by five. So it's a square. We then have the brick over the top like this. And for the moment, we'll just do it one block higher like that. And then, do we want 
the orange on the on the brick level probably not string just to lift it up by one and then have that going up here right i i like it i don't like the colors though i i i think that there's something I don't know. Maybe we're maybe I'm calling it too early. Maybe I'm not sort of uh, letting it letting it be. Maybe that's a little. Well, that's already a little bit better. That adds a lot more. Uh, lets a lot more light in there. Weather clear. Um, so on the picture, it's it's glass and and looks like it might have a similar white sort of uh, look to it. But obviously, we want to try and incorporate as much of the orange in and the white um, stained cl uh, clay as we can. What if I took one away? What if I take this one away? I put the bricks here instead. Alright, I think I like that. I think that's a good high. Maybe the being another block high was, was what was making the difference. I'm happy with that though. Now, uh, on the side here, the front of the building goes along here obviously. But what I want to do is I want to have uh, two alcoves. So, I might end up removing this part. Just this one, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking out loud here. Just that one. So then you walk through here. This becomes like an, a, a corner pillar, almost. Then let's say, instead of leaving five blocks, we leave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks. So let's double it. And then we put the bricks, which I've lost the brick back in here again okay so we have 10 blocks instead of yeah that's not enough that's already not enough let's add another five one two three four five let's try here and just stand back okay i think i think that could work and that's going to be uh the entrance one of the entrances in and then you always have on supermarkets near me there's always this area where they seem to sell uh coal or firewood and things like that it's like a, an a area before it's always got the heaters in it so and this is a glass area this is, uh, has a big glass door but i'm going to leave the glass out for the moment one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and then put that there and then we go back to this one again and we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve oops Lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then another brick one there. Now you might think, AJ, you're miles away from the edge here. That's okay. That's not a problem. This is where it's now going to drop back uh, again by, what is it, 5, isn't it, this time? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Back to here. And then the rest of the building goes this way. So I think we'll keep the same design. I don't think we, that we need windows along this Oh, no, we can have windows along here. Yeah, 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 we can have windows along here. One, two, three, four, five. Now, this is all down to luck. How are we going to end up when we get actually to the very edge? There's nothing I could really control about this. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're not hugely lucky today. Um, I suppose I could just end it there and have the side of the building down here and then have... Uh, a nice tree line maybe so even some palm trees you know like how we've got over there that works that works okay so we can have some sort of windows there that's where the uh tills or cash registers like we call them tills in the uk it's really hard to like um be able to uh make everybody understand there's so many british terms that aren't used in america and american terms that we just don't use in the uk uh, it, it's very difficult it's very difficult all right perfect I think that we're up to a really good start. So these are the big automatic doors that you walk through. You, you grab your trolley, usually over here, and then you drive your trolley through. The big automatic doors open. Shum! There's usually coal and uh, wood and trampolines sometimes, like a special offer on sale here. It's also where the charity people stand shaking their coin boxes. And then you go through the really big doors. There's usually like two big doors and in and out. And you walk in here and bang, you're in the supermarket. We'll have the tills over there. And all of that is going to be shelves, food, and, and things like that. Mine mart. Or cobble, cobblestone wool mart. <laughs> I do still like that. I think that's such a cool name. All right. Now, um, 
On the picture, the front of the building incorporates a lot more white stained clay, we're going to call it. Uh, I'm going to keep it mostly brick, but then have a big banister of white stained clay, and then use the orange to then write uh, Mine Mart into it. So what height, this height here. I'm just going to put some uh, pretty much basic sort of corner, li corner post lines in for the moment to get us a bit of a framework going. This along the front here. Obviously, it doesn't go back to those pillars. That's internal space. So we have these up there and along here. But then it does go, uh, it does sort of go around a corner here. Unless I wanted this part to be, uh, those windows to be sunk back. I could do. We could just have a, an, over, oops, an overhanger area over here, couldn't we? There's no real problem to that I can see by doing that. And then maybe underneath here we can have, uh, what do they call it? Uh, here in the UK we have uh, a supermarket called Tesco's and it's got what they call click and collect. So when you order something on life, this video is not sponsored by Tesco's. It sounds like it though, doesn't it? So when you order something online, you can um, uh, pick it up at the nearest store and you have those there. So that, that could be what that's for, a little parking spots for that. Now, text size. We need a decent amount of height to be able to write uh, M's, which is in mine and Mart. Uh, in fact, the smallest way that you can really do an M is five blocks wide and four blocks high. So we could definitely get away with having a five by five M. Can we get away with doing five by five letters throughout? Will all of the letters work in mine? If they do, if I drop this down by one block, take these bricks away, and I drop the M down by one, and that leaves a white will then go from here to here. That one, and goes a little bit lower than there. That doesn't... Sort of met that one little tiny corner block makes all the difference here. Um, how can I stop that? I could put uh, well, it's gonna be orange, yeah, okay. Orange, oops, orange is that the right orange? It looks a lot darker in my hand. No, that is right. If I had orange going up here. We are we are very tight. I can I can put a little bit above it. I can I can do something above it. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay, so uh, M. Let's just see what it looks like in orange here. That one and that one. And we'll have to work out exactly like where we want it to be centered to. Yeah, you know that should work. That should be okay. And where this uh, brick line is at the bottom here. We might change that up to a brick and stair design or something like that. So it's not quite as, as bland all the way across. So I think we're probably not too far off the right spot here. Let's say it's a 5x5 five five text. So we've got M, I, N. Make sure these are all 5x5. Five five, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, M, I, N, E, 5, M, 5, a, three, four, five. R, three, four, five. And then T, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's so close. If that pillar wasn't there, if that pillar was like two more blocks. Okay, I can force that over. We can, we can force that over by making these go a little bit wider. So let's say we go from here to here. I'll just grab the grass for the moment. And we want to go, so it's this... Oh, I could move the M over by one as well. Okay, let's do that first. Let's move these letters over by one. So we'll go from here to there. And then we go cut, paste. That's moved just that, the letters and the spacings over by one. And then we need, on the edge of this side one white one here and then one orange one there if we wanted to, to match the other side three four five six and one below there yeah something something like that which means this 
needs to go over by one, two blocks. So if we go from here to anywhere here, and we go cut, and we go over by one, two blocks, we paste that in, we connect these back together again as if they were never missing, and then boom, the pillar then can then go up this side. Uh, we have changed that part, so we're going to have to then move all of that over by two blocks. Let's just get this up to one above. I think that's what I have on the other side. Yeah, one above there. And then if we grab this section from here to, uh, for the moment, here. And I go cut. Okay. One, two, paste. And then put the pillar back in here because I obviously missed one. That one goes there and there. And then everything joins up again perfectly. Ooh, okay, so mine mart can go in there. Let me get this text done because I'm we must be getting near towards the end of the episode. I want to have something that looks decent. I'll be back. I'm in the middle of some tweaking. We've got mine mart written in there. I think it looks really cool. Five by five text works really well. There's no letter that becomes problematic with it. I have uh, risen it by two more blocks though so I can get this design in. I've decided that I think it would look better if we had this going along as so. And the pillars go there. You guys get the gist. You guys know how it goes with the, with the block behind the back. We'll just do like this section as an example. And then I'm thinking about raising mine mart up by raising, raised, risen. They all work. I'm still... Still got my mind on that. Uh, I'm thinking about raising that up by an extra one block, again, to get an orange underneath it. So instead of just orange on the left and orange on the right, which we don't actually need there now because it's up two blocks. But I think it could be quite cool to surround it in that um, and then somehow sort of light it up a little bit. So let's say we go from there. It doesn't really matter how tall this building gets. It doesn't. It doesn't matter at all to there. And then we go cut. We just need to go up by one block. Paste it here. Then the orange can then go underneath and on top and sort of make a border for it. Along here. It is in line with those bricks, but that's not really too much of a problem. We'll probably put like a uh, slab of bricks again. We'll just use this part, this section as an example. Something like that, I think looks pretty nice. Oh, I actually really like that look. What if we done it on the bottom as well? Oh, I really, really like that. What does it look like on the side? Oh, uh, good. <laughs> that one. Yeah, oh yes, 100%. That there and there. Yeah, that gives a real nice amount of depth. It doesn't necessarily have to be brick even. Um, slab. What if we done it quartz? We've got quartz already on the side. So what if all of this was quartz along the bottom and along the top? Obviously, whenever you're adding white to a building, it always is going to make it look a little bit more modern, stand out a little bit more. You know, I like the white as well. It looks really weird only having like part of it white at the moment, but I think as the building progressive and it progresses and it becomes more of a, a, a part of the color palette, I think that's going to work really well. And I like how it's sort of double quartz on the bottom there as well. Yeah. And then we would double quartz this part because this is where like the trolleys would be stored under here and the building goes sort of back here so you have the bricks like this. And then that's the door area, yeah? You see what I mean? I hope you see what I mean where I'm going with this. Yeah, and then orange along the top. And then we go into the ceiling area, which we're going to have a little bit of cyan clay on. But that is all I've got time for. I know it looks abysmal. It looks like we've done nothing this episode. But if you've watched it, you realize that we did. There's a lot that we needed to work out. I'm going to leave the episode there, though. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. Next episode, this building is going to come together very, very quickly. I can see us doing... Uh, pretty much the rest of the exterior of the supermarket next episode. If not, it'll be a three-episode project max, like how that um, building is over there that we 
just only built, finished off last episode, wasn't it? Uh, so yes, it's going to be a two or three episode part, uh, including the car park and all the trolleys. Not the interior, though. That's going to be its own episode at another point. 